world of chemistry here lux school of science is presenting lesson number 3 electrochemistry and today we are entering past 3 dear students in previous lessons we were talking about the electrochemical cell how electrochemical cells are developed what is its working mechanism what is the potential and what is the emf now today we are going to talk about some different thing and that is very interesting see when we were talking about electrochemical cell it has two part one part was zinc another part was copper in daniell cell and zinc is separately known as oxidation and copper was known as reduction okay so now see here what i am going to explain you representation of half cell what is half cell so dear student half cell is nothing but the one part of the electrochemical cell if we see the electrochemical cell then electrochemical cell has this kind of two portion that you can see here okay there are two portions are there with the electrochemical cell this is this is first portion and this is the another portion so there are two portion in conduct by electrochemical cell one is known as uh, anode and another one is known as cathode that is our knowledge so we come back to the only one part and that is one part is nothing but the zinc half cell okay so what is half cell half cell is nothing but the, the one portion of the electrochemical cell is known as half cell samajh padi je electrochemical cell na be bhag che be bhag ma thi ek bhag che ene apne half cell tarike odakhiye chhe ave aa half cell kevi rite agad kaam karse ane eni andar shu che e joishu to tame ahi joi shako chho ke ek half cell aparna apvama avyo chhe in this half cell you can check out see this is solution this is nothing but the solution and solution is of zinc sulfate that is your previous knowledge ke konu hoy che zinc sulfate me hoy che okay and then after here you can see the <coughs> electrode is also there and that electrode you can see here this is the electrode of zinc this is the electrode so one is electrode and one is solution and totally entirely it become the half cell so portion of electrolytes and electrode is called as half cell what you have to remember the portion of electrolytes this is the and this is the electrode this is known as half cell and as it is containing zinc it is a zinc half cell as it is containing zinc it is a zinc half cell so what you have to remember here see read this portion beside figure is involving with the left part of the daniell cell which is half cell as zn is there it is zn half cell and it is anode you know that okay here oxidation is occurring zn electrolyte is in zn so for solution it means zn so for solution means what do you think so zn so for solution is nothing but the this zn ion if i will write here zn so for then you know that zn so for how it is developed so zn so for is nothing but the made up of zn plus 2 zn plus 2 and also it is having so4 so that is zn plus 2 ion so zinc rod this this zinc rod is added into the zn plus 2 solution so that's why we can write zn into zn plus 2 zn by zn plus 2 it says that zn in zn2 okay so representation of the zinc half cell is zn by 
Zn plus 2. Hope that you understand this well. Okay. So, representation of one half cell. Now, like this, you can represent another also. So, now think about reduction. Try to understand in your mind and uh, then make one concept in your mind by seeing this figure. I am keeping quiet. You check out this figure and uh, put yourself how it will be detected. Okay. Meanwhile, I am reading that beside figure shows that the half cell of copper as it is reduction part it is reduction half cell here copper is in CuSO4 solution hence can be written as Cu Cu plus 2 but as it is reduction part its oxidation number should be decreased okay this is the point of teaching from me what is written here check out this I'm highlighting that here it is written that as this is the reduction part number should be decreased what which number would be decreased oxidation see here check out here this copper there is nothing upside that means its oxidation number is zero it is converting into the Cu plus 2 ion that means its oxidation number is going to 2 ok so that is why Cu no oxidation number 0 chhe, and Cu plus 2 no oxidation number 2 so that is 0 thi vadhi ne 2 thai chhe jare increase thai chhe to a increase no meaning thai chhe oxidation and aapada hiya heading mario chhe reduction so we have to do reduction part so that is why we have to change our technique aapada hiya aapada technique batla hu pad se so, reduction mass is decreased. Reduction mass, the number is decreased. So, this is 0. So, better idea is not this. Better idea is it should go 2 to 0. And 2 to 0, we have to do this. Cu plus 2 by C. You got the idea? Okay. So, like this, two half cells are detected. First one was oxidation half cell. And how we have detected oxidation half cell by Zn by Zn plus 2. Now second Cu plus 2 Cu. Now what you learn up to this. Okay. That you have to represent here. And dear students now what you have learned here. See first question is representation of half cell. Okay. What is that you have learned. Okay. How to represent. Zn in Zn as of also written Zn by Zn plus 2. Cu was in. Cu as of 4. So, return Cu by Cu by Cu plus 2. But as it is reduction, so it should be written as a Cu plus 2 by Cu. Now, if Ag is in AgNO3 and it is anode, anode means oxidation part, means the number will be increased. So, Ag by Ag plus, that is simple. Okay? If Al in AlOS3 and it is reduction part, then reduction part. Now, Al plus 3 is there because Al OS thrice. See here you can see that. Okay, here what is written? Al OH thrice is written and that's why you should take Al plus 3. So Al plus 3 by Al is the <coughs> correct answer for this. So this is our learned what you have learned in this session. So now what will happen? After you know that Okay, once you get idea, you have to self-evaluate. Okay, so what is half cell? The so one portion, one part of the electrochemical cell where either oxidation occur or reduction occur is known as half cell. Write the symbol of half cell now you know. If in an electrochemical cell PB is added into PbNO3 solution, then represent its oxidation. Now you should try it as well. If in electrochemical cell SN is added into SNCl2 solution, then represent it for reduction. See here you have to redux oxidation and here you have to do reduction. So my dear students, you understand how the chemical electrochemical cell is represented or its half cells are represented and what is the importance of them. Okay, so this was interesting. We are meeting in next period with another video up to stay home